be no way a little dude like you is gonna change oh. my ways. It's time you were tempted with a taste of nuts and honey. Hulk Hogan doesn't eat nuts and honey. Did you take this? An unbeatable part of this nutritious breakfast. That's better than a body slam. Ooh. Undefeated. And he's still a champion. Ooh. Ooh. You control their appearance, but no force in the universe can contain the power and the fury of Rock Lord. Shaking, quaking, crashing, breaking, Rock From Tonka. Now, it's here. The excitement, the adventure of a new force at breakfast. We'll call them C-3PO's. New C-3PO cereal from Kellogg's. Twin rings, phase together. For two crunches and every double O. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Now you can experience the taste of Kellogg's C-3PO's. A crunchy new force at breakfast. May the force be with you. From the American Gladiators come the official action figures. Here comes Turbo! Laser, Gemini, Nitro, all your favorites, all in your face. Let's do it! All the action. Oh, man! All the excitement. It's all yours. You've had it, Nitro. With the official American oh, Gladiators oh. action figures, you are the Gladiator. Action figures and playset set each sold separately. You put it together. the 31st century. Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars. Until you find the kingdom of Hades, your bodies will stay as lifeless as stone. Ulysses, the way back to Earth has been wiped from my memory. You are alive, my son. Magnificent planet. Look, Father, it looks like Saturn. Yes, you're right. Saturn? Yes, Saturn is one of the planets in the solar system not far from Earth. We went there with Mother a long time ago. Look, but be. Yes. One day you will get back. You will see your solar system again. Yes, you're right, Yumi. We're not going to spend our whole lives wandering through space. We all have to keep our hopes alive, my son. Stand by. I am receiving signals from a shuttle vehicle in difficulty. A close-up on the visual display. Yes, it does seem to be in trouble. Oh! Look, 
father? Can you detect any presence of life? Yes, Ulysses, but very weak. Whoever is at the controls is exhausted. Ah, then there's no time to lose. It's burst into flames. Telemachus set off the fire extinguishers. Right, no, no, come with me. Here, Telemachus. Extinguishers. the remote magnetic arm. No, no, hold on tight. You might get shaken up a little. I think she's coming, too. Where am I? Who are you? Don't be frightened. We are your friends. Rest a little. You're exhausted. Istria. I must return to Istria. Oh. Well, you'd better lie there and rest for a while. My shuttlecraft, where is it? It's a burnt-out wreck now. Oh. Don't worry. We'll help you. But first, tell us where you came from. I must get to Istria. Oh, please, take me to the base at Istria. It's very important. Is the base that you came from called Hypsipyle? No, no, my name's Hypsipyle, and I come from the base at Lemnos, but I must get to Istria and ask for help. The people of Istria can help us. If I don't get to Istria, all the women of Lemnos are lost. Lost, Hypsipyle? The men of Lemnos have put them all in prison. Why? Simply because they had the courage to rebel. That's why. On Lemnos, the men live in the high city. They do nothing at all. Nothing. Only supervise the factory where the women make trials for the men. The work is hard and dangerous. Fallen sick. You all right? Back to your place immediately. This woman is ill. This is none of your business. There. Uh, uh. No. No, do not come near. Return to your work. No, return to your work. You have no right to touch us. Thoas wanted the women to be cared for, but that would mean a slowdown of production. The shark men insist on the tridents being delivered on time. The Council of Four was afraid, and they put my father in prison. Put your father in prison? Yes, Thoas is my father. He was the king of Lemnos. Now that he's been deposed, because they're so afraid of the shark men, it's only made the women more angry. The women have stopped working! What's that? Will you explain that? Uh, Excellency, that is to say, uh, <laughs> What are you doing here? Get out of here! Never, Croesus. Never. Our work is too dangerous. Have you thought what it will mean to you when we are all sick? We will still have the dwarfs. Guards, put them all in prison. And when the dwarfs get sick in their turn, there'll only be you left. You who've never done anything in your lives because you can't. Triplo, see to this matter. Enough. Put them all in prison. Go on, escape. Go to Istria and ask for their help. Yes, I'll do that. Halt! Capture her! She must not leave the city! Shoot on sight!
Are you sure that the people of Istria will be able to help you? I think so. They too once fought off the slavery of the Shark Men. Hmm, the Shark Men are powerful. Will your friends be able to help you? Do you know the Shark Men? Yes, Hypsipyle, but no Shark Men in Trident ships will prevent our return to Earth. Earth? That's our home planet. We're looking for the route to Earth. It lies beyond the Kingdom of Hades at the outer limits of Olympus. The Kingdom of Hades? I've heard about it. Do you know where it is? No, but I'm sure my father does. The trouble is... He's in prison. There it is, the base at Istria. <gasps> Entirely destroyed. Oh, but why, Ulysses, but why? Tridents. The shark men. We make their tridents and they use them to destroy Istria and all our friends. What can we do? They will ruin Lemnos just as they defeated Istria. We have to stop them. We must. We are going to stop them, Hypsipyle. In the Odyssey, we can travel faster than they can and we'll help the women of Lemnos fight them. We'll have to avoid the Astroport. Where else can we land? Where can we put the Odyssey down without being seen? I think the best place would be between the base and the Trident factory. It is very quiet. Halls are empty. Where is everyone? Will you sit down, Bebos? Ah, tell me, how can you be so cool? In the end, it would have been better to take care of the women. Now the Tridents will never be ready in time. We were too harsh with them. I wonder if they will ever forgive us and go back to work the way they used to. We must not give in to their rebellion. True, but we can't afford to wait until the women give in. You're right, Bebos. They must give in. They're afraid of the shark men, too. We'll just have to wait for them to come round. If we weaken, they'll never work for us again, and we'll have to answer to the shark men. Stop a minute. The communicator. Oh, no, the shark men are coming. Men of Lemnos, our tridents, are they ready? Yes or no? Yes, yes, they're all ready. They're ready as usual. Well, I am delighted to hear it. Prepare them. We're taking delivery. I assume that everything is in order? Yes, yes, everything's in order. Whatever shall we do, what will they do to us? Without the women, we're done for. Come on, we'll have to open the prisons and hope they'll forgive us. Hipsipoli. Shh. Oh, you managed to escape. <gasps> Yes, thanks to Ulysses, he saved me. Stand back, careful. Quickly, we must leave Yemnos. Leave the lazy men to their fate. They can no longer make us suffer. No, come on, 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 Shoot! Women, listen to me. The shark men are here. If their tridents are not ready, they will kill us all. Uh, oh, don't come to us. We won't help you. You wanted to rule over Lemnos. Well, rule over it, but all alone. We're leaving. No, no, you can't do that to us. We won't let you go. God! Do not be afraid. We will go in front. Stop! Who are you, foreigner? What's the good of fighting each other? You have a terrible enemy. Get together! The base at Istria has been destroyed by the Shark Men. If we go on like this, they will destroy Lemnos too. Istria destroyed! Lemnos will be next! Think of what you're doing. Without these women, you cannot defeat the Shark Men. 
Guards, seize him. Put him to work with the women. We've seen enough. Will you go on living in fear of the shark men? Why not shake off their hold on you? It's useless to explain things to them. They think like slaves. All they think about is obeying the shark men. Attack them. Let's go now while we still can. No, please, listen to me. Attack! <laughs> Do you know where he is? Aww. Who are you? <gasps> what are you doing? The women are going back to work. What are those children doing in the water plant garden? You have no right to be here. We will find a place in the factory for you where you can be useful. <laughs> It means oh. that Istria came to help us. No, Istria has been destroyed. There's nothing left of it. I'll tell you later. Stop! What's the good of fighting each other? You wouldn't understand. Out of our way! They will understand once we have gone. They will have to do our work then. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Triplos? We won't have time. The shark men are here. It's all over. Lemnos is finished. Here already? Stubborn fools. Why don't you refuse the demands of the shark men? Impossible. We obey or we die. The shark men crush all attempts at rebellion. Find a way. There must be a way. None. The king! There is a way! Listen to me! Thoas! All of you, listen to my daughter! Persuade the shark men to go into the factory. Then we will detach it from the rest of the station. But the risk we would be taking... Yes, it's dangerous. Of course it is. The back thrust reaction when we detach the factory and jettison it may send Lemnos far out into space. But have we any choice? Yes! Yes! It's an excellent idea! We'll get rid of that factory! Yes! Yeah! Now, let's not waste any more time. Here we go. Quite a few production problems. The women's workforce was attacked by a strange illness caused by the acid baths we use in the factory. Don't tell us your problems. All that counts is that the tridents are delivered on time. <coughs> <coughs> you take that one away and put another in that place. We want those tridents as fast as possible. The illness is contagious. You shouldn't stay here too long. <coughs> I will have your tritons brought around. Wait here, please. At the devil! What? What is this? Open! Open this door now! It's all set. Now quickly, everybody out! Hurry, this way! Yes, there's no one left. We were the last out. 
Now, jettison the factory. Stop, stop. Uh, Ulysses, your children are trapped in the family supply room. They will die. We must try to save them. Oh, no. Oh, father, what are we going to do? Ah, uh, Hypsipyle. Ulysses, this way. Father, at last we were pretty scared. Telemachus, my children. Yippee! Oh. I'm all dented on account of that darn bell. Follow me. Uh oh. Oh. The shark man. Oh. It's our last chance. Now run! We must make it this time, no matter what! We've been tricked into an ambush! You don't trick a tyrant, you just stop obeying him! Shark men of the gods! Wherever you are, I will go on fighting you until we return to the Earth! King Thos! Father, you're wounded! Hypsipyle. Ulysses, go on without me. The factory will blast off any second. Now save yourselves. Go on and leave now. We could never leave you, King Thoas. You're coming with us. I cannot follow you. King Thoas, where lies the kingdom of Hades? Hades, Hades, beyond the desert of the Tartars. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh, Father. Don't cry, Hypsipyle, don't cry. It's floating out into space.
And now, people of Lemnos, you can learn to live together again. If Thoaz knew the way back to Earth, it is because others had told him. We must look for them. They will help us to find our way home. is a frantic new catch and capture game where you pick a color and then scramble to get the most bugs. Bed bugs! Bed bugs! Don't let them get away! Bed bugs! Bed bugs! It's a wacky game to play! Bed bugs! Bed bugs! Don't be no sleep today! Bed bugs! Bed bugs! You'll get carried away! Bed bugs from Milton Bradley. It'll drive you buggy. Introducing Point Dread and the Talon Fighter. Comes with adventure book and story record with sound effects. Action figures sold separately. Let's hear He-Man, Skeletor, and the Point Dread story. I, Skeletor, will finally defeat He-Man. I'll use the Talon Fighter to stop Skeletor. In a flash, He-Man's hurled through space and time. Surrender to the power of Point Dread's Talon Fighter. You win, He-Man, but I'll be back. <laughs> Point Dread and the Talon Fighter. With record and storybook, you have to put it together. Action figures sold separately from Mattel. Six changing solar fields, and if you're really fast, awesome. you'll skip ahead to even tougher fields. Really cool. Solar Fox from CBS Electronics. But can I drive now? Where the excitement <laughs> never ends. thinks he knows everything there is to know about romance. But is that any way to impress a girl? Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs show him he still has a lot to learn. Can they save Commander Eagle from the terrible power of the nth degree? Find out next on Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs.
selected unit for the scrap pile. Those dudes are the best when it comes to a scuffle. They taught me everything I know. They're gonna wish they hadn't done such a good job. Nemesis, as you can see by the holographic recording, the Star Sheriff seemed to have something that makes him impossible to beat. Tell me something I don't know. I'll tell you something you don't know, Nemesis. What? Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs do have a secret weapon, something you vapor beings can't understand. What's that? They have something called heart. They know how to work as a team, and what's more, they care about what happens to each other. <laughs> Not like you guys. But now you have a human in your camp. I'm the new kid in town, and I know how they think. It's a human voice, all right, but we can't understand a word of it. The ranger at Lone Wolf Tracking Station's trying to get a fix on it. Hey, here he is now. The uh, signal seems to be coming from a little planet called Granite Flats, Miss April. <gasps> That's near where Daddy vanished. Turn up the signal again, April. Uh, eagle. Uh, Could be Eagle. If Nemesis does have him out there, he'll be hard to find. Good old Granite Flats, real hide and seek country. Let's see if the voice decoder can help us any. Eagle. Well, this clears up our question without a doubt. That's Eagle. Well, come on, let's go get him. Hold your horses, Bronco Buster. Let's not jump the chute before we know what we're doing. You're usually the first one to throw caution to the wind, Fireball. That's my father out there. You see, Granite Flats is mostly desert, and those vipers could hide like lizards. We just gotta figure out which rock they're hiding under. Well, I got the answer to that, Fireball. All we gotta do is get in there and start kicking some rocks. I don't think it's gonna be that easy, Colt. We've got to find out what he's saying. How do we do that? This might do it. This is Commander Eagle, Mike. Repeat, this yep. is Commander That's Eagle. him, all right. Let's slap Rawhide, eh? No, Fireball's right. We'd best take this one step at a time. Or we could walk into a trap. Fireball, he needs our help. Yes, but we can't underestimate Nemesis. I know. <laughs> That's the ramrod vehicle, all right, and it's headed our way. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you, Blue. They're doing just like you said. Yeah, they're falling right into my hands. We'll take them when they hit the ground. That'll prove to April <laughs> I'm no little pussycat. What? Strike now! That'd be a mistake. Nah, one surprise attack will get rid of them. No fuss, no muss. Well, you're gonna make a fool of yourself, Point. But if you think you can take him, go ahead, give it your best shot. There it is, Granite Flats. Ugh, not the prettiest hunk of rock I've laid my eyes on. Well, if you ask me, that's a planet only a mother could love. I don't like the looks of it. Things are too quiet out here. at the county fair. We've knocked out their defenses and the coast is clear now. Let's go, okay, Saber? I'm not so sure, April. There's something funny here. What do you mean? 
They were too ready for us, almost like they knew we were coming. And they could have more plans for us now. <laughs> Jumping tumbleweeds, I'm starting to feel like a puppet on a string here. I think you might have hit the nail on the head. Well, it was just a hunch, but that's all. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I know my father's down there on that planet. And it's up to us to get him back. Look, we're just as determined to bring the commander back as you are, April. But they may be trying to trap us. That's right. Yeah, looks like they've thrown out the bait and they're just waiting for us to bite. If we wait, we might draw them out. No, that's wasting precious time. It's the only way. He's my father and he's depending on me, Fireball. I just can't sit back and do nothing. I'm sorry, April. Fireball's right, April. We all want to get your father back, but we have to do it as a team. Commander Eagle would want it this way, April. Yes, I know. Now you don't have to worry about April. You were pretty rough on her. She's got the right stuff. She's a star sheriff. Don't worry. You can depend on me, Daddy. Well, now that you've made a mess of it, Point, I'm sure you'll see things my way. Right? Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you, Blue? <laughs> you got that right, pal. You see, I know exactly what makes them tick. Oh, what's that? You wouldn't understand. Emotions are alien to your species. Like the way I feel about April. You'll see. I'm gonna corral that girl. And just how you gonna do that? The same way I brought him this far. With the voice emulator. <gasps> Daddy! April, I need your help. I'm at Rattler Gulch on Granite Flats. Hurry, April, and come alone. I've got to get out there. Wait, what if Saber Rider's right and it's all a trick? I'll just have to take that chance. Steve, I need your help, boy. Huh? The ramp's open. You don't suppose. April! She's taken Steve! And she's riding to beat the wind! And here's why. Huh? There's a message coming in. April, I need your help. I'm at Rattler Gulch on Granite Flats. Hurry, April. Hurry. That's Commander Eagle's voice. Something sure seems awful funny here. I don't like it. Yeah, April could be riding into trouble. Come on, let's hit the saddle. Right, let's go. Here she comes. That's right, Point. She's doing just what I expected. Yeah, but she's not alone. I was counting on that, too. Charge up the Enth. Get the charge and trail us! The Star Sheriffs have met their match. Here I come, ready or not. Yuck, Rattler Gulch. Not exactly home on the range. No sign of Daddy. April, <gasps> just can't resist me, can ya? Why, ah! April? Jesse, what are you up to? Hey, I thought you'd be glad to see me. Now, is that any way for a lady to treat a gentleman? Jesse, you're getting on my nerves. I only do these things because of my love for you, April. What have you done with my father? <gasps> April, remember. True love never runs smooth. <laughs> Jesse blues behind this. What were you doing riding off like that? I had to. Jesse getting to you, April? No. Huh? I said no. Just checking. Don't worry. <gasps> Fireball, look out! Go, Steve! <gasps>
the hero would you expect? And not a moment too soon. Come on board, mate. I was afraid you'd never ask. April, come on. Give me speed, Steve. All right. Where's Colt? He's tracking Jesse Blue. <laughs> Can't catch me. Huh? Where'd he go? What that weasel? He gave it a slip. Slicker than grease lightning, cowboy. You haven't got a chance. Time for Ramrod. Yeah. All right. Ramrod will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. Head up, up. Move them out. Power stride and ready to ride. Look out! Shall we dance? This rustler. They're exactly where I want them. Prepare for the nth degree. Trigger on. Red boss. Fire. We'll have a hot time in the old town tonight. What's that? Some sort of energy beam. Look out! There it is again. Jesse's got a new trick up his sleeve. Duck and cover. That energy beam is interfering with our circuitry. Then we'd better move before our tail feathers get fried. What? Gotcha! Range scanners indicate the source of that beam is straight ahead. Right, let's get it! There it is. He's coming for Phantom Ship Rock. All weapons on. Let's sink this boat. Right. Okay. On. All systems are go. Okay. And hold it. What's that? I'm zooming in. Eagle! Daddy! So that's his ace in the hole! He's protecting the energy beam with Eagle! <laughs> They're backing down. You see, I'm gonna make all that star share of heart work against him. Hold it, Fireball. It could be a trick, but we can't take that chance. You're right. Daddy! Looks like Jazz is holding all the aces! Fire with full force. Destroy Ramrod. Uh, I'm losing the controls! It's fusing our circuits! April's mine now. I'm going to sing her a song, Jesse. Huh? It'll make her feel better, then she'll surrender. Yeah, that'll tug on her heartstrings. Bill, and you. Hear me. Daddy! Yes, Daddy, I hear you. Remember this song? I used to sing it to you when you were a child. Listen closely. The little girl skipped down the street and sang this song with glee. Sometimes what people <gasps> think they see is something else, not me. Yes! The beam's getting stronger! We gotta do something! Guys, the song! I think Daddy's telling us he's not really there. It's a hologram, a projected image. Open fire! How about it, Saber? It fits. I hope I'm right. So do we. Our circuits are melting. We've only got a few more seconds. But what if she's wrong? April knows Eagle better than any of us, and I trust her judgment. 
then we do it! Colt? Go for it, pard! Saber? We're a team, Fireball. You know what to do. Right! Blasters up! Wow! What did you tell her? Target locked in! And... Blast! strong to think logically, but it's hard when there's so much at stake. I thought I heard the pitter-patter of little vapor viper feet. We'll send you to bed without your supper. And no TV for a week. Lights out. They must have figured out it was a trick. The Star Sheriffs have a winning combination. When the chips are down, they use both their hearts and their minds. Yeah, I know, but I thought their emotions would get in the way this time. You learned a lot at the Academy, Jesse, but not enough. Heart without mind or mind without heart will lose every time. You know what heart is, Jesse, but you haven't got one. Yeah, I do. I feel it every time I'm near her. There's a signal coming in. From whom? I don't know. Sheriffs. Commander, Commander Eagle. Eagle. I'm safe, but I'm still a captive. Jesse will speak now. Jesse. You outfoxed me this time, Star Sheriffs. But I still have Commander Eagle. And you haven't seen the last of me. Oh, and give April my love. What a dip. Yep. April! Huh? Your father's safe. Everything's gonna be okay. He'll come back for you, Daddy. I promise. System with so many arcade hits, you're playing with power. The Nintendo Entertainment System Deluxe Set. Batteries not included. Super Mario Brothers and other games sold separately. <laughs> Annoyed hates hot quality pizza. He loves to make your hot pizza ice cold. <laughs> Call Domino's Pizza and avoid the noise. <laughs> We keep the cold out and all this quality in. So when you want quality pizza hot and delicious, Domino's Pizza delivers. One call does it all. You can imagine they're from another world. Mighty robots disguised as mighty vehicles. You can pretend only you and the friendly GoBots can save the Earth from the enemy GoBots. You're trapped, Turbo. Leader one to the rescue. They hide among us as earthly vehicles, but you can change them into robots, each sold separately. Take this, Psycho! Now who's trapped? <laughs> GoBots, 
Leader One, Turbo and Cycle, each sold separately. New from Tonka. When America's looking for something exciting to eat, America heads for Taco Bell. All the things you love so much, live before your eyes with that Taco Bell touch. With no sauce, hot sauce, and mild sauce too. The Taco Bell just made for you. Taco Bell, it's just made for you. Win classic Corvettes, VCRs, and free meals in the wheels, reels, and meal sweepstakes under not participating restaurants. Today on pole position as the canine vanishes. From now on, like your parents were, you are the secret force of pole position. They're moving real fast, they're the only ones who Let's can get go, there on time. Okay, sis. And never too far behind, they're always fighting crime. Stop time, Dad. Ready when you are, Rhodey. In the danger zone. Pretty soon they'll be off on a mission. Hydrofoil mode, Rhodey. Hydrofoil engaged, Dan. Got it that time, gang. You've been working on that stunt all morning, Dan. We all weren't breakfast. Just one more time. <laughs> it's always just one more time. <laughs> I don't think this stunt is such a good idea, Dan. Are you kidding, Rody? When I got it perfected, the crowds will cheer. Uh, I just hope we're around to hear it. Hang on to your hat. See? It's like I told you, there's nothing to worry about. Except that brick wall. What brick wall? Yikes! Something rody! I've heard that one before. Hey, am I some kind of driver? Yeah, the worst kind. Tess, there's a message coming in from Dr. Zachary. Put it on the screen, Wheels. Dan, Tess, come in. What's up, Uncle Zach? Plenty. I'm sending you to a nearby research center in the Everglades. This is Dr. Michael Hastings. He's just developed a vaccine that's 100% effective against all forms of biological warfare. You are to hurry to his lab and assist in any way possible. But I've got a stunt I'm working on. Can't this wait a while? Sorry, Dan. It's urgent. Oh, great. Come on. We've got to get a move on. There's the research center. Now all we have to do is find Dr. Hastings' lab. What's going on? Looks like arson, and Dr. Hastings just ran inside. Don't tell me! Help! Someone help me! Oh no, it's Dr. Hastings! Why aren't things ever easy?
Dr. Hastings? My dog, Pandora, is trapped in the flames. We've got to save Leave her. Leave it to me. Life's work ruined. This was no accident. Someone said it deliberately. I hardly think that's likely, Dr. Hastings. You and I were the only two people here at the center who knew of your research. Now mop up the water in the lab. We'll get a crew in to clear the debris. Yes, sir. This is Stu Collins. He's head of the research center. Pleased to meet you. We'll talk later, Hastings. Mr. Polite. He must be great at parties. I I've got to go to the police station and file an arson report. Uh, please, Dan, you've got to look after Pandora while I'm gone. Nothing must happen to her. She's the most important thing in my life now. Uh, hold on, Doc. I, I just don't know what I'll do. i got to practice my stunt with Rhodey. I can't waste my time watching some dog. a treat for you. While I'm working with Rhodey, you can keep an eye on Pandora. Gee, thanks, Dan. We'll have lots of fun. I knew I could count on you. You mean Connor. Give me a break, Rhodey. Look, this way everybody gets what they want. Yeah, especially you. a game of hide and seek. Hey, Daisy, you're not supposed to do that. Keep quiet, Wheels. I'll be it, and you'll hide, okay, Kuma? Daisy, why did you remove my tracking device? Now Rhodey won't be able to track me if he needs to find me. No, but you'll be able to track Kuma. But that's cheating. I just want to show Kuma who's got the brains. I don't approve of this, Daisy, but the transmitter's right behind that bush. Gotcha! <laughs> huh? I think this is Kuma's way of telling you who's got the brains. Well, let's go look for her. Here's where I come in, guys. I can still track that transmitter. Uh-oh. What is it, Wheels? Bad news. Pandora's moving away from here at 60 miles an hour. No dog runs that fast. Eh, Pandora must have gotten nabbed by the dog catcher. It's no big deal. It was your job to watch her, Dan. Call the pound in a half an hour, and you can get her out. Look, I gotta go practice. If you're practicing to be a jerk, I think you've got it down. <laughs> Come on, Daisy. We'll have to find Pandora ourselves. Why do I have the feeling I just blew it? Maybe because you did. Must be in that truck. 
truck. Don't lose him, Wheels! or Daisy for hours. I hope Dr. Hastings is back. Oh no, he's cleared out. <laughs> Dr. Hastings probably needed some time away. This accident has been quite a blow to him. But that doesn't explain what's happened to Daisy and Tess. As for your sisters, well, I'm afraid that's your problem. Nice guy. Excuse me, I couldn't help overhearing. I know Dr. Hastings. He'd never just put up stakes like that. Something's wrong, and it sounds like your sisters have gotten caught up in it too. If I were you, I'd go after them. You're right. Let's do it, Kuma. Thanks. Anytime. Okay, make tracks, Rody. Yeah, I sure hate this swamp. Soon as Hastings gets here, you can say goodbye to the swamp forever. So Hastings is behind all this. If only we could warn Dan and Uncle Zachary. Yeah? Oh, hello, boss. Hey, what's this? A transmitter. So that's how you were able to find us. But we'll just take care of it right now. Hold it. The boss has a better idea. Wheel signal is coming from that cabin, Dan. You guys stay here. I'll check it out alone. Anybody home? Die. Got a bad feeling about this, Kuma. What is I say I'm gonna check something alone. Stop me. <laughs> hey, take it easy, Kuma. So what do we do now? Tess, Daisy, Wheels, Hastings, and the dog are all missing. And we're in the middle of the swamp with no clues. Footprints. Good work, Kuma. Now put your nose in high gear and let's hope the trail leads us to Tess and Daisy. I don't like the looks of this, Dan. It's 
a hidden airfield. And there's Daisy and Tess. But who are those guys? I don't know, but they're in for a thrill. What the? What's that sound? It's there! Make way for the Rony Express! All aboard! Come on, Pandora! Stop them! Get them! Windshield could use some cleaning, and so could you. Sure know how to make an entrance. Well, let's hope I know how to make an exit. Step on it, Rody. Daisy Tess, are you ever a sight for sore headlights? I've been locked in the truck for hours. No time for sentiment, Wheels. It's time to burn rubber. It's a dead end! And here come Laurel and Hardy. I never saw cars that could thrive on water before. I don't care if they can walk on water. We've got to get that dog. Come on. Heads up, we've got company. Divide and conquer, Dan. Right. Then maybe we just better turn tail. Dan, what are you doing? Drop wheels, Rody. the play by now. You couldn't catch him if you tried. I wouldn't bet on that. You guys watch those two clowns. We gotta go see the doctor. Hurry, Dan. Hastings is behind all of this. He mustn't escape. Hey, don't sweat it. Have I ever let you down? Right. Well, I won't this time. So are we. Dan, look! It's Dr. Hastings and he's all tied up. Oh, thank heavens you got here in time. 
But if you're not the big boss, who is? I am. Why, it's the janitor. I'll have you know I'm a general in my country. A place you shall very shortly see. gonna be smooth sailing from now on. Except for one thing. I don't know how to fly a plane. That's okay, Tess. Just don't panic. Help! Sorry, Dan. I'm no birdmobile. But Wheels used to have an old air traffic controller's manual in his memory banks. Wheels, do you copy? Roger, Rody. I've been listening in. Just follow my instructions, Tess. Maybe this will get us down. Whatever you do, don't push the control yoke forward. Uh -oh. Give me that. Way to go, General. What are we going to do now? Sorry, you got both of you into such a mess. So you see, a foreign government wanted the formula when the lab burned accidentally. So they kidnapped Hastings. Exactly. But where does the dog come in? I injected the vaccine into her bloodstream. So that's why you said Pandora was the most important thing in your life. After the fire, it was the only sample I had left. <laughs> Wasn't the only reason. I guess we're all real fond of our pets. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes it's mighty hard. <laughs> presents Chester Cheetah. I'm Chester Cheetah. I'm just a cool dude in a loose mood. Until I see those Cheetos. Then my cool turns to drool. 
My style and ease surrender to my urge for the snack that goes crunch. I, I, it's not easy being cheesy. Cheetos cheese flavored snack. Cheese that goes crunch. In the pizza delivery game, the Noid can zap ordinary pizzas. But Domino's Pizza delivers more than all the others combined. So when you call Domino's Pizza, you get the best delivered pizza. The Noid just can't be the best. Domino's Pizza. Nobody delivers better. I want to tell you something. Yes? I don't want you following me around, expecting me to show you the ropes. Following you around? Yeah, I can't let the alien girls get the wrong idea. But once they see an Earth boy, especially one as cool as me, I'll be more popular than I was on Earth. And I don't want you messing it up for me. You don't have to worry about me. I won't go anywhere near you. your class president. Welcome to Galaxy High. I thought you Earth people shook hands when you met somebody. We do, but, uh, well, we don't really know which hand to shake. All of them. Come on, let me give you a tour of our school. You know, Amy, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we humans should stick together. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. And I was wondering, how would you like a date? Get serious. I am serious. Sure. OK, that'd be fun. Good. Then you can go out with this. <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead with you. <laughs> I'm stuck in the middle of outer space with a mental midget. <laughs> and these are your lockers. X234V9 and Z4229Q. Welcome, baby. I'm your personal locker. I'll carry your books, help you with your homework. I'll answer your every need. Thanks. <laughs> Don't expect any special treatment from me. I ain't no slave. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I'm sick and tired of you rotten kids. 
You want to keep books inside of me? Fine. But that's it. No clothes, no food, nothing but books. Hey, and no smelly socks. Sorry about that. He was the only other locker that would take an Earth person. Come on, I'll show you the gymnasium. Now this is odd, very odd. What? I can't find the gym. It was here yesterday. Oh, there he is! I'm Jim. You're in luck. A girls' gym class is in progress. Girls? Gym class? All right! to introduce Doyle and Amy, our exchange students from Earth. <laughs> now, ladies, ladies, relax, cool down. Now, I know you've never seen an Earth boy before, but relax. There's enough of me for everybody. <laughs> now. I thought the girls would go nuts over me. Are you kidding? The male population here outnumbers the females three to one. You're nothing special, but she is. Hi, we haven't met. I'm Bully Bubblehead. Who are you? Amy. Hi, I'm Bully Bubblehead. I know. H huh? H how do you know my name? You just told me. I did? You'll have to excuse Bully. She's absent-minded. I, I, I am not absent-minded. I, I may be forgetful, but I am not absent-minded. I'm Wendy. I've got this little black book with a description and rating of every single boy in this school. Hi, I'm Gil the Gossip, and I can tell you any secret you want to know. Billy Big Dipper says he's from Venus, but he's really from Saturn. And Clarence Comet is flunking algebra. And Martha Meteor is allergic to peanut butter. And hi, we haven't met. I'm Billy. Bubblehead? <laughs> girls! 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 Back to your outer aerobics. See you later. Aren't they sweet? Yeah, sweet. Real sweet. Attention, attention all students. Tonight at 7.30, the Film Society presents that classic horror film, The Spine Chilling. I was a teenage human. This is our homeroom. Dragos, Dragos, Dragos! How many times have I told you? Using your X-ray vision during a biology exam is cheating. Now, what are we going to do with you? Hmm. Aha! Lead sunglasses. <laughs> they should keep those X-ray eyes under control. There! Ms. McBrain, I'd like you to meet our new exchange students. Amy Bright Tower. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Your grades are impressive. Your record is outstanding. As principal of Galaxy High, I am pleased as plutonium punch to have you at our school. Thank you, I... Ms. McBrain, I'm Doyle Cleverlobe. And might I say that you are even more beautiful than I've heard. And might I say that you have an awful lot to learn. <laughs> well, I'm sure there are plans in the files for both of you. Let's take a look. Blackboard? Yes, we do have plans for these earthlings. Big plans. Amy, because of your excellent grades, you are the recipient of our Galaxy High School Scholarship. To help you get your classes a new Xenon X5000 Turbo Space Coupe DeVille! <gasps> wow! Hey, what about me? Yes, Doyle, we have something for you. 
because of your incredibly poor record, your irresponsibility and laziness, you will have to take a part-time job at Luigi's Lunar Pizza Parlor. A part-time job? But why? To pay for your tuition. No scholarship? Did you hear that, folks? He wants a scholarship with those grades. Ah! get a spaceship? Oh, most certainly. We don't expect you to walk through the universe, Doyle. You are the recipient of a used 37-year-old Benson Hofflinger Model 1. Seven thousand. A skateboard? This isn't fair. If you did your schoolwork, Doyle, none of this would have happened. I want to go back to Earth. I'm afraid that is impossible. Impossible? Why? Because Galaxy High School is your last chance to graduate. Oh, I hate it here. Nobody appreciates me. <laughs> That's your problem. Thanks. Everybody's mean. Nasty. I'd give anything to see a friendly face. Just one friendly face. Well, hi. What a cute little doggy. Aren't you cute? Now, class, to make ice scream, you take the ice and squeeze it. Sludge. He loves earthlings, if they're properly salted, that is. Well, what's he doing in here? Sludge is the school janitor. A dog? A janitor? Sure. He can do anything. Show him, Sludge. Electrical work, painting, plumbing. Sludge, I, I, I think it goes the other way. <laughs> So he's got a little to learn about plumbing. He's still the best garbage disposal this side of Jupiter. Show him, Sludge. Not bad for a mutt, huh? isn't really from Saturn. Clarence Common is flunking everything, and... Hi. Have we met? I'm Bowie, Bubblehead. Mm, good, eh? And Milo has glommed on to Doyle, and... Oh, I'm the creep from the planet Sarabeek. Your heart belongs to me, ah. At night when you're asleep, into your spaceship I will creep. Buzz off. Creep. No, it's okay. He's kind of cute. Cute? How she said I'm cute that was me. Amy, you shouldn't have said that. Why not? You're gonna be my new best friend and I'm never gonna leave your side. Never, not once, not even forget it. No, not. We're attached? That's the idea. Oh, come on. B unlock this thing. No, I if I were to do that, uh, we, wouldn't, uh, not, we wouldn't be together for 24 hours a day. But I don't wanna be together 24 hours a day. Uh, but, but, but I, <laughs> I do, and, and only I know the combination. Why do you think we call him the creep? Oh, <laughs> oh that's nasty. 
think it's time I made some friends. Uh, Doyle? I love it! I love it! <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Doyle Cleverlobe from Planet Earth. Oh! Hey, pal! Watch where you sit! Earth stinks. Oh, yeah? Hey, put me down! about those guys. I tried to. That was the Bonk Bunch. Beef Bonk is their leader. Nobody makes friends with them. <laughs> Professor Eisenstein? Ah, Milo. French fries. My favorite. <laughs> How good from you. <laughs> no, wait. Professor Eisenstein, these aren't French fries. This is my friend. Your friend? Oh, my goodness. What planet is he from? Earth. Earth. <laughs> so this is what Earth people look like. No, no, no. He fell into the French fryer. And you put him back together? No problem, Milo. We just pass him into the molecular reconstructor. <laughs> uh, uh, why is it so cold in here? Professor Eisenstein comes from the planet Froster. He has to keep his classroom cold or he'll melt. In, in, in. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's a flubbing, not an earthling. No, that's a Gruber Locks. Earthling. Eh, Earthling. Earthling? Aha, yeah, well. Here we go. Professor, that is my pleasure. Hey, but where are you going? Work. You? Style shopping. Bye. 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 What style shopping? We certainly 
did not order anchovies. Hey, what's the matter for you, Earth boy? You work so slow. You gotta be faster, faster. You should work like him. He work hard. He work fast. He got a six of arms. Table seven. And Patty Pluto had to give up pepperoni pizza platters, and she gained so much weight, she had to buy a whole new wardrobe. Amy? What happened to your hair? Your skin? I mean... We took Amy style shopping. Didn't we? But you look so different. <laughs> yes, isn't she a fox? Tomorrow, she's getting her green skin. We asked for extra cheese. Take it back. More cheese. I don't get it, Milo. I was so popular back on Earth, but I get here and everybody treats me like, like... An alien. Why the sudden cold shoulder? You've been ignoring me ever since we got here. You asked me to leave you alone, remember? Out of my way, you boy. You're dancing with me now. You mind? This is a private discussion. <laughs> him to a game of Zaggle Ball. Yeah, then you can humiliate him in front of the whole school. Don't you just love it? <laughs> Tomorrow, after school, the gym, me and you, Zaggle Ball. Zaggle Ball? I think on Earth you call it hooky. That's hockey. Yes, only the puck is alive. Galaxy High, it's Doyle versus Beef. And the question on everyone's lips, Riggit. Who will score the three points that win the game? Riggit. And the heart of the whole school. Win this game and you're in. But watch out for Beef, he's a dirty player. And taking the field is the referee, Rotten Roland. Oh no, he cheats. And he's carrying Riggit the Suggle. Let's play. Come on. <laughs> Let's play. I'm gonna get that earth back. Hi, Amy. Hi, Doyle. You were terrific. Thanks. It looks like you're a big man on campus again. Well, not really. I'm still gonna have to keep proving myself. You sure will. Say, listen, Amy. Maybe the two of us could become friends. Sure, Doyle. What are you doing Friday night? No plans. How would you like a date? Oh, well, Amy, I thought... Yeah, that'd be fun. Good. Then you can go out with... Gilda Gossip. <laughs> How about a kiss, Earth Boy? 
I'll, uh, I'll get you for this, Amy. got my message. I see I'm not the only one. something? No. Look, here's something you can do. You can label these artifacts for me. Now I gotta work? 
I'd rather have my spleen ripped out. So what do you think? Cool. Very Ozzy Osbourne. But I'd still rather be back home playing baseball. Mom, look out! Did you see the glazed look on that guy's face? He should be arrested for jaywalking. Now can I drive? It appears whoever was here left in a hurry. Maybe they went to an out-of-business sale. Max, don't eat that. It's not even washed. But, Mom, I'm starving. Right now, I'd be willing to eat something that walks on all fours and barks. This must be the hut of the high priest. Coolness. In a creepy sort of way. Well, maybe he went shopping with the others, huh? Guess we should check it out. Right. No son of mine's going into a strange hut without me knowing what's inside first. Whoa, rad decor. It does make a statement. Mom, look at this. What does this mean? It's a zombie symbol. The hole in the body is where the soul once was. According to legend, a zombie neither lives nor dies, but exists only in limbo. Kind of like being in school. Hey, maybe this trip won't be so bogus after all. Max, it's just superstition. Zombies don't really exist. Oh, yeah? Well, tell that to Mr. Personality. <gasps> what are you gonna do with that thing? I don't know, Mother. I thought I'd ask the big guy out for a game of stickball. Yeah, and they're here to give us the key to the village. I guess this trip wasn't such a good idea after all. Hey, beats another vacation in Pacoima. Ah! Get away from my little boy, you... you... zombie! Yeah! Are you okay, Mom? Lilo! You must kill Lilo! Ugh. Looks like some sort of a parasite. Or a real ugly mole. I am the high priest of the village. Thank you for freeing us from an eternity as one of the undead. Hey, no prob, bro. Yeah, all in a day's work when you're a world-class hero. So what are those nasty-looking things anyway? They hold the lifeless soul of the zombie. If one attaches, that person will become a zombie. Sorry I asked. We must locate their spawning ground and stop the low before they can spread. They need to be near people. The more humans around, the faster they multiply. My Aunt Iris is like that. I don't see why we can't call professionals in to do this job. Mom, I am a professional. I'm the Mighty One. The more I see of this Mighty One thing, the less I like it. Something tells me this place isn't open to the public. Somewhere beyond lies the spawning grounds of the zombie lows. Give me those! You know you're not supposed to be carrying around matches. He's really not a bad boy. Zombies coming. How can you tell? Because they're standing right over there.
We have no weapons. What are we going to do? Well, sometimes the best ways are the old-fashioned ways. How can I ever thank you for all you've done? Well, you could hand me a towel to get some of this green splue off me. This figurine is incredible. What does it say? She is the source of their existence. By her own flame, she will perish, and the undead will be free to return to the living. Do you think I could possibly have it? If you like, you may have it. But I must warn you, this place is filled with evil. Mom, Mom, uh, I don't think it's such a good idea messing around with evil. Call it a hunch. It's okay, Max. The parasites are all dead anyway. Oh, man. I still don't see why we couldn't have stayed a few more days. You already missed a week of school, and I don't want you falling behind. Wasn't our trip to Haiti educational? Nice try. Now get off to bed. It's school night. Oh, yeah, yeah, about that. I was thinking, can't we put this school thing off for... I don't know, say a month or so? Upstairs, young man. I got home last night. School. What a way to ruin a perfectly good day. No time for breakfast, Mom. I'll just grab a candy bar at school. Why don't you do it? One shower a day's enough! Oh, I must be suffering a post-zombie delusion. I'm gonna see the school nurse. Emergency report. Now I know this may sound crazy, but zombies have taken over the city. I don't know how it happened, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with my trip to Haiti. Are you listening to me, man? How did the parasites get here? I mean, we didn't take anything home with us. We didn't bring any fruit or anything. Oh no! The figurine. They must have been inside. Mom? for this, but it's for your own good, Mom! What's going on? Something tells me I don't want to know. I can't help but think this is all my fault. 
I just wanted something special for the museum. I never thought it could lead to the end of civilization as we know it. Hey, come on, it's okay, Mom. It could happen to anyone. Mighty one, mighty one, over here. Virgil! Oh, am I glad to see you. Zombies have taken over! Yes, yes, yes. Mighty Max, the very world is threatened by this plague. You must save mankind at once. Come to Africa immediately. The answer lies there. Let me tell you how to get to the portal. Right. Uh, you might want to write this down. You know how I hate to repeat myself. He's not going anywhere without me, Buster. It's kind of my fault. In the middle of an ancient burial ground. Put that down! You don't know where it's been! <laughs> Mom's been a little overprotective lately. In order to stop the zombies, we must find the mother zomboid. Okay, I'll bite. What exactly is a zomboid? She is the source of their existence. By her own flame. She will perish, and the undead will be free to return to the living. Those are the words on the figurine. I was going to say that. Don't you think we should get going before we're discovered? Zombies. I live for this sort of thing. <sighs> Once you pulverize your first parasite, it's hard to stop. Boy, Barry Bonds has got nothing on you. This job just keeps getting better. Unhand me, you vile creature! Sorry, cut that one a little close. Okay, you guys, don't be afraid. We're here to... Rescue you. Boy, lousy manners. Not even a thank you. Come, if they ran that way, the zomboid must be this way. What's that smell? It's like something crawled in here and died. It's the stench of decay. Methane is my guess. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Me neither. I don't like it. We may have found the mother zomboid and her young. Yeah, I noticed the family resemblance. Nobody move. I don't think it can see us. It appears only to be able to detect motion. So to be safe, all we have to do is stand here for the rest of our lives and not move? By her own flame, she will perish. Perish? Who will perish? If I can just get close enough, I can stop the Zomboid. Or vice versa. Great! I don't have any matches. Remember the matches I took from you? Here, son. Well, thanks, Mom. You're not gonna try and stop me? No. I guess I finally realized it's not my job. Now, do what you have to do. After all, you are the mighty one. Here's your chance. Hey! Hey! Over here! No! Here! No! 
over here, you disgusting thing. All right, you big mother zomboid! You stink! You ever hear of underarm deodorant? The matches! Seriously as they appeared, the zombies have disappeared from Washington. Once again, things are back to normal. Unfortunately, the government is still moving as slow as ever. Well, everything's A-OK -okay again, Mom. You did well, Max. I'm proud of you. By the way, did you finish cleaning up all the dead parasites? <sighs> of course, Mom. I got every last one of them. I left no stone unturned. You know you can trust me to do what you tell me. Oh, I trust you, Max. I truly do. Now, about your room. The oldest republic in the Western Hemisphere is the United States. The second oldest, Haiti, which declared its independence from France in 1804. The name Haiti comes from the Taino Indian word for mountainous, and parts of the island still look as they did when Columbus landed there in 1492. I bet Columbus didn't have to travel with his mom. See you next week. You make bugs in the bug -o -matic. Don't splat my bug! If you don't want your bugs to get splatted, you gotta be the first to get them to safety. Splatting bugs is where it's at! Splat! I, I hate when that happens! Oh, we love it! Splat! From Milton Bradley! It's the Incredible Crash Dummies! Hey, dummy, give me a break! Wheel! With their crash and bash chair! Crash bash! These guys really take a beating! <laughs> But no dummy day would be complete without a ride in the crash car. Whoa! Don't you be a dummy. Buckle your safety belt and leave the crash into us. The incredible crash dummy. Crash and bash chair and other stuff sold separately. Come on, come on. Oh, she's talking to me. For so long, I felt so unappreciated, so unloved. I mean, I know she loved the Kellogg's Pop Tarts. Who wouldn't pull that nice, warm, gooey, real fruit filling in a toasted tan crust? But now I know she thinks they're cool because they're hot. I'm a raging infernal of emotion here. Finally. Kellogg's Pop Tarts, part of this complete breakfast. They're cool. Because they're hot. Mom, this toaster takes forever. Let's get a new one. What? Defenders of Earth. The Power Rangers are driven by the power of the ancient dinosaurs. Lately, evil space aliens have become a real safety hazard. Earth's only hope, the Power Rangers. Oh, yeah? No one can stop us. Just let them try. Okay. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle.
diagnosis, amnesia. All this to hide a submarine refueling station. Our scanners picked it up anyway. I'd like to see how Dr. X hides his car. You'll be seeing him soon. Ask him yourself if you dare. X is here? What? Was it a bad day for blowing up warehouses? I'm warning you, action man. Shut up! Oh, what? We're going to run instead of walk to X? Hey, you! Come over here! This place is gonna blow. You haven't got much time. Okay. Now you've got time. But not for long. Action four, the bomb has not been set. Time to change plans. Still disable exit station with this grenade. Uh, ten, nine. <clears throat> Your timing is really bad, pal. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mission accomplished, Action 4. Come and get me before the bad guys catch up with me. We are on our way, Action 1. Over. Congratulations, Doctor. You will be the first to witness my genius. Indeed. I hope you're right, Professor Marcuse. It would not be wise to disappoint me. You'll get your money's worth. And I'll have my vindication. I expected something larger. You lack imagination. This device can lift an aircraft or, or an aircraft carrier. If it works. Allow me to present the culmination of years of research. The world's first anti-gravity device. What? Now watch 
this. A most impressive demonstration, Professor. Well done. May I? Of course. At last, I will have the respect I deserved. Let's keep this our little secret. Huh? No! No! Oh! No! My life's work! Good day, Professor. I'll fix you, X! You'll pay for this! Station Extreme, come in. This is Secretary Norris speaking. We are on the brink of humanity's most historic moment. A turning point in world history. An event so profound, so momentous. All right already, cut to the chase. The European Space Agency has confirmed our first contact with extraterrestrial beings. Their ambassador will be arriving in 15 minutes. That's not a lot of warning. Agreed. I want you and your team on standby. Are they hostile? Their message says they come in peace, but... It always pays to be careful. Exactly. Norris out. That's odd. I'm not registering any alien craft. Keep looking. I'm sure it'll show up soon. So, team, let's get extreme! Put her down where no one will get hurt. 
I'll get her as far out to sea as possible. You two take the Heligan and get out of here. That's an order. I'll radio my coordinates to you. Meanwhile, find Secretary Norris. Be careful. Yeah, see you on the ground, AM. for those of the aliens. After such a horrifying act of aggression, what can they want? Attention! You have felt our power. Now observe our strength. Resistance is futile. There is no escape. For we are everywhere. Surrender immediately and be spared. All face the consequences. Action 1, do you read me? Action 1, come in, please! Action 1, do you read? Any luck, Shaw? Not yet. Don't worry. Takes more than invaders from Mars to take out Action Man. Shock, the aliens must have some weakness. We've got to find it. I'll get right on it. <gasps> come in, Station Extreme! Action Man! What a super! <laughs> So not. How about a pick me up? On my way, AM. There's something not quite right with this alleged extraterrestrial craft. Let's see that again. Freeze frame? I thought so! It's a fake! Norris has agreed to discuss terms of surrender. But we can't just give up. Station Extreme to Action 1. Huh? Go ahead, Jock. These aliens aren't aliens at all. Guess what? I analyzed the voice print. It's you know who. Dr. X. I knew it! Good work, Jock. Now, what about the craft and those incredible weapons? Actually, they're conventional Earth weapons, but they act as if they're unaffected by gravity. Action Man, we need you here ASAP. There's a Professor Marcuse on the line, and he's got something I want you to hear. How many times do I have to tell you Dr. X has my anti-gravity machine inside that fraudulent alien spaceship? The man is a thief, a liar and a thief. You must get my invention back. But uh, our weapons are powerless. Of course! The piezoelectromagnetism will repel all metals. You must use plastic projectiles or plastic explosives. Here is where the unit is located. Here is where you must attack. Thank you, Professor. That solves one problem. Now, how to get someone on board to distract these so-called aliens? Guess that means me. Stealth glider deployed? Roger. They'll never see you coming. Like they say in the movies, break a leg.
explain that. Where are you going? Uh-oh. There goes the wing. Hold on! Thanks for the lift. My pleasure. Jack. The other UFOs, they're gone! Vanished! They were holograms! Ha! Fakes! Just like Dr. X! We can't stay long! Gotta pick up the new Jet Extreme! We will, but first... Action, man! This way, quickly! I'm a very busy man! Your new anti-gravity device? With a few modest improvements, you will be amazed! Sir... Oh no! That abominable Dr. X! This is all his fault! Keep working on it, Professor. We need a man like you on our side. A man of vision. A true scientific genius. But of course! Why, by the time I see you again, I will have solved the puzzle of anti-gravity and deciphered the secret of all chemical transmutation. I will turn lead into gold, brass into silver, and then... Goodbye, Dr. Marcuse. Huh? Load action memory file. Loading. Activate virtual memory scan. Activated. Ah, the Himalayan monastery again. I assume that's me crawling like a beaten dog. Vira, confirm. Probability, 99%. This must have been where I met the mysterious monk. Whatever I did, he didn't like it. Vira, is that a tattoo on his arm? Insufficient data. Let's try an easy one. Vira, what is he saying? Translation, please. Language Tibetan. Translation. Get off your posterior region, oh slow moving one. <laughs> But I wasn't always so slow. Vira, who's throwing things at me? Insufficient data. Sequence related files. No, not this! Vira, someday it will all make sense. I swear it! Save file and exit. Did you know the energy saved by recycling one aluminum can could run your TV for three hours? One can, three hours. That's six episodes of me. I like this recycling thing. Here's what you need to do. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce what you use. When you buy something small, tell the clerk you don't need the bag. Reuse your lunch bags, your thermos, and aluminum foil. Recycle soda cans, glass bottles, and newspaper. It's not about saving the planet for the future. It's about keeping it alive while we're still around to enjoy it. Honeycomb! Honeycomb, honeycomb, me one, honeycomb! The craving just hit me, too! Honeycomb, me one, honeycomb! I 
can't resist that craving, man. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, sweet and crunchy. Honey so sweet and crunchy. Like toast and honey. Yeah, in that weird shape. They want honey, yo. Yeah. I mean, let's get some. Honey, go! Craving won't be denied. Honeycomb cereal is an irresistible part of this complete breakfast. A lot of crazy cravings. Honeycomb! It's the most lethal G.I. Joe team yet. Capcom Street Fighter 2! No way! Wait! There's Kyle, Ryu, Sangi, Wonka, and Dalcine! What's a Dalsum? Oh! Some with real ninja moves! Hey! But Copa's got Street Fighters 2! Vega, Sagat, Balrog! And me, Elfashan! They look unbeatable! God! You know him, you love him. So Corrupto! Cat comes Street Fighter 2 figures he sold separately. Oh, I like him. Welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order? Uh, let's see. One dozen burrito supremes, 700 Mexican pizzas, and one of those new gorditas. Hey, Godzilla, want something to drink? <laughs> Godzilla's at Taco Bell on four collector cups. And now you can put them in a cool Godzilla cup holder. Get them while supplies last. His spicy crispy sandwich ain't like the rest. Got a natural spicy crispy chicken breast. I got the flavor you're looking for. I thought I fired you. Metalhead, let's rock! Thought you had me, huh? I got you now! Take this! And this and that and these! Ah! <laughs> Score now, Murphy, man or woman? <clears throat> Why should I have to go? Whenever Alpha says an assignment is big, it means I get shot at. For real. Alpha Prime said to bring both of you. You should have turned left at that last intersection. I know the way to the airport, thank you. Chicky, chicky, chicky! Woo! Check it out! Wanna race, baby? No. Oh, maybe you need to let a man drive, sweet meat. Maybe he won't be chicken. Minor, uh, yeah! Gun to 
exceed the legal speed limit. Taught them a lesson. Tell them I, I was against the whole thing. License and registration? Oh, it's you, Agent Minor. If I'd known it was you and Murphy, I wouldn't have pulled you over. She was speeding. You have to give her a ticket. Thanks a lot. Mr. Perfect. We take our traffic laws seriously here in New Detroit, Agent Miner. You'd better add a safety citation, too. One of your turn signals is not working. The President of the European Union will sign a treaty next week, pledging international cooperation in the fight against Dark, the Directorate of Anarchy, Revenge, and Chaos. We have information that Dark will try to keep the European President from signing the treaty by kidnapping her son, Leopold Lebed. Leopold is a car racing enthusiast, driving in the Paris to Dakar endurance rally. The Sahara Desert? No, I, I can't go there. All that sand would play havoc with my sinuses. Division Alpha has arranged for Miner and Newmeyer to replace a two-person team who had to drop out because of car trouble. Robocop will shadow Leopold's car from outside the race. All systems go, Murphy. Good luck. Luck? Why are you saying that? Does he mean we're gonna need luck? I especially don't like falling in A driver we did not see at the start. Perhaps she was busy powdering her nose. <laughs> <laughs> we had mechanical trouble. Try letting the man drive. Maybe then your troubles would go away. And if you were Leopold, you would not be afraid to drive alone. If I were Leopold, nobody could stand to ride with me. <laughs> <laughs> Leopold? If it's romance you're after, shall we? Blow it out your exhaust pipe. I'm a special security agent assigned to protect you. There may be an attempt to kidnap you, to get at your mother. Before anyone can kidnap me, they have to catch me. And no one can do that, especially lady babysitters. Sand is harder than it looks. Sewing device. Wow, Sherry. I don't expect I will see you again today. <laughs> How long till they let us start? Last in, last out. Maybe I'll grab a shower. May your travels though be broken winds of the sacred camel. Murphy? What's with the robes? Just something I whipped up. If you can keep close behind Leopold, I'll stay alongside to back you up. I'd rather take the lead and let him stay behind me. We're here to protect him. 
not to teach him a lesson. It'd be nice to do both. Skis. Fan. Blake Jets. Looks like he's got car trouble. Mm, we'll have to go back for him. Why'd you pass him if you're just gonna let him catch up? Sorry, Newmeyer. I didn't mean to. He just makes me so mad with that old world arrogance. I go nuts. There's no sign of any dark operatives. <laughs> Get in the car! Get down! Make up your mind! the driver. Blast the other one! Dr. Newmeyer, you look like you could use some assistance. Get 
Are you alright, Robocop? Oh no! Just some minor damage. Let's pull ourselves together and get moving. Who or what are you? Your police escort, sir. I need to borrow your car, Mr. Levitt. Official business. More babysitters. No, I will finish the race alone in this car. If I can fix the front end. Uh, I can fix it. I feel like a hood ornament. Hold still. I I'm connecting you to the car's electronics. You say this woman, Nancy Miner, was kidnapped in my place. They probably mistook her car for yours because she was in the lead. Then I must help to rescue her. As a Frenchman, I can do no less. I am not French. I'm not even Canadian. Does that mean I can stay here? I can't let you endanger yourself, Mr. Levitt. How can you protect me unless I am with you? He's right. I can't leave him behind. Hop in! Vive la France! We could follow these tracks faster if I were driving. Can you turn the radio off? Sorry. I see something up ahead. A sandstorm is approaching. If it wipes out the tracks, we may never find Agent Miner. We've captured Leopold. You are idiots. That is not Leopold. But Erg, you said the driver of the first car. Ah! <sighs> that is a woman. Thanks for noticing. The sandstorm is getting closer. Take her outside and let the sand scour the flesh from her bones. Go! 
Bolt can drive anything. Blaster on stun. Monster! No, I can't fire! Murphy's too close! My scanners tell me part of you is human. That part has to breathe. Clippers. Surely you can do better than that! I hope so! Destroyed? Yes. I guess he just needed to unwind. Sand! I am never going to the beach again. I hate that gritty feeling in my teeth. Can you get my car running again? My car's still running. You could use it to finish the race, but I'll have to go with you. I, to protect you. <laughs> Which one of us will drive? We'll... Take turns. Newwire and I will meet you in the car. The car's inside. Come on, I'll race ya. How are we gonna get to the car? By air. Saved us. He can't make it that far. I've already radioed for the Division Alpha jet to pick us up. I don't think they can land out here. They are going to land. Oh, no. Oh, no, please, no. Tell me you're choking. I'm joking. Some say it's a sin to waste time. Some disagree. Ah! Introducing two new wastes of time from the kings of waste, Beavis and Butthead. First, Virtual Stupidity, the pulse-pounding CD-ROM misadventure game that takes the boys all over their sucky town in order to join Todd's gang. Then there's This Sucks, Change It, the inactivity book with a detachable remote control with 12 totally Beavis and Butthead sounds. I am Cornelio! Check out the CD-ROM, Virtual Stupidity, and the book This Sucks, Change It, and find out why time is a beautiful thing to waste. Crisp. Cookies? For breakfast? Time out! Uh oh See, I make the calls, and I say cookies aren't for breakfast! Oh, yeah? Hey, help! Whoever says cookies aren't for breakfast hasn't tried Cookie Crisp cereal. Mmm! It's the only cereal that tastes like real chocolate chip cookies and is a chocolatey part of this good breakfast. So what you call now, huh? Doggone good cookies for breakfast! Cookie Crisp! Prepare yourself for combat. Mortal Kombat action figures. Fight for right in your own tournament of champions. Liu Kang. Johnny Cage. 
Raiden. Get over here. Sub Zero. Reptile in the Dragon MK1. Kino on the combat cycle. Mortal Kombat. It's not just a game anymore. Mortal Kombat action figures. Combat cycle comes with Kano. Dragon MK1 comes with Reptile. Hey, it's Lucky. Make it his Lucky Charms. Hi, with me, Rainbow Magic. We've got magic too, you know. Ah, but can you make hard stars and horseshoes, clovers and blue moons, pots of gold and rainbows, and me red balloons? Well, not exactly. <laughs> but like magic, we can make them disappear. Marshmallowy Lucky Charms, a tasty part of this good breakfast. That's me Lucky Charms. Delicious. delicious. To many. It is modern-day folklore. To others, it is simply tabloid headlines. But to a select few, it is the ultimate reality. Intergalactic aliens have arrived on Earth. Now, they move among us. Only one top-secret elite group of trained professionals has the ability to detect these extraterrestrial beings. B.A.D. The Bureau of Alien Detectors. Led by Squadron Leader Sergeant Ben Packer, military war hero, Special Agent Shane Sanderson, life science expert, Moose Tringanu, alien encounter survivor, Colin Marcus, computer specialist, and Casey Taylor, psychic communicator. Together, they have only one mission, to confront, control, and contain all alien encounters. Together, they are B.A.D., the Bureau of Alien Detectors. Just look at it, Amanda. 37 square miles. Millions of specimens. For a botanist, it's heaven on earth. Hmm, your backyard is certainly more exciting than mine, Adam. The only scenery I get back home is cactus and tumbleweed. A whole world of growth. Reclaimed from salt water. Do you realize what that means? We can harvest the sea. We can feed the world. <laughs> After all these years, Adam, you're still trying to recruit me? They called us the research team supreme. I know we really can change the world this time around. Adam, you've got something that you're not telling me. Better I show you. I trust you packed your hiking boots. I imagine the Bureau still keeps you busy, though why you stayed all these years still stumps me. You couldn't stand the anonymity. Adam, you were as dedicated to Earth's safety as I was, as I am. The greatest threats to our planet aren't out there somewhere. They're right here. Dwindling resources, ecological destruction, worldwide hunger. But I am on the verge of ending them. And every person on the planet will know who to thank, Dr. Adam Edens. Oh, my. my corn crop came in rather nicely this year, don't you think? I don't know what to think. Uh, Dr. Edens, Zucker's reporting a problem with a satellite dish. Details? Negative. He's on his way over to meet you. He sounded hyper. He usually does. Over and out. Problem, Adam? Uh, doubt it. Zucker is our communications officer. Good man, but high strung. They look like they're out of some fairy tale. How did you do this? <laughs> With magic beans? I'd hoped you'd be impressed. Dr. Edens! Dr. Edens! Oh, he sounds terrified. Something must have him spooked. He panicked last month when we lost our TV signal for two hours. Go, Doctor, go! Go back to the compound now!
exit tunnels. This is a code red evacuation. Code red? Understood, Doctor. Adam, you've got a lot of explaining to do. I've never laid eyes on that specimen before. I have no idea where it came from. Adam, stop this thing. Some kind of trouble with the satellite dish. Isn't that what Zucker said? Oh, no. They've probably done in the phone lines, too. That means we're completely cut off from the outside world. automatic distress signal was triggered less than two hours ago. All efforts to re-establish contact with the Genesis Jungle facility have failed. What about Dr. Faulkner? She's down there on a research assignment with that Dr. Edens. <laughs> Lots of luck. Whatever she finds, he'll claim he found it first. You got that right. Dr. E is a world-class credit hog. Have the orbiters been any help? Negative. A heavy overcast over Central America precludes all satellite surveillance. So we're going in blind. Oh, this just gets better and better. Major V, what's the time frame? You have eight hours to evacuate the survivors. At that point, Genesis Jungle will be neutralized. I must be missing something here. That's a level five response. A bit much, don't you think? I think you're an agent with an assignment. Understood. Remember, Team 22C, eight hours. Hurry up, people. This is a cold, red evacuation. <sighs> it must be over a hundred degrees out. Adam, where are we going? You're going with them. Just follow them to the exit tunnels. You'll be fine. What about you? There's something I have to take care of. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going with you. I was hoping you'd say that. Sarge, this is weird. We're getting a scrambled call from Major V. Top priority. Now, why would he scramble a call to us? Unless he's about to tell us something he shouldn't. Team 22Z. There is something you must know. The plant life in Genesis Jungle was a gift to our world from an extraterrestrial source. It held the promise of ending world hunger. But now... But now, you figure, with the SOS, maybe the deal's gone sour? If the alien source does have a darker intention, it must be stopped in the Genesis Jungle. There is no recall code for the squadron sent to level the jungle. If you are not out in time, then we're not coming out at all. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Good luck, Team 22Z. Commander, picture it. Resources to build shelters. A world without hunger. It's a dream. Our dream come true. You saw the size of the corn crop, and early hybrids of other grains are just as outstanding. Yes, but I also saw what carried off Zucker, and nearly carried me off, and also took out the communications dish. I will concede crossbreeding the alien spores may have spawned a few freak mutations, but man's greatest triumphs often come at a high cost. The setbacks are troublesome, but no reason to abandon my work. All my precious brood. Those wondrous spores of theirs hold the promise of a better tomorrow for us all. Check this out. Somebody's put a lid on the Genesis jungle. What are we looking at here, Sanderson? Some sort of crystalline matrix. It's tough stuff, but we should be able to punch through it. <laughs> no problem. Just let me put on my boxing gloves. Marcus, you're standby. Keep the ultraviers on alert. Pull a few weeds for me, guys. Sarge, we've got three hours and 49 minutes to clear everyone out. 
Let's dig in. Feel that heat. It's like a sauna in here. That webbing's amplified the sunlight to near lethal levels for normal plant life. What's supposed to grow in such a hostile environment? It sure wasn't the jumbo corn. We've got company all around the clock. Those are some nasty looking weeds. Pattern 14, back to back. Take them out. Now. Got you first. Batman! Ugh, this one's got me! No, it doesn't! Elemental Morph, steal you! Cover your six o'clock. You want a piece of this? Anderson, analyze what's left, and tell me how we're gonna stop a whole jungle of them. On it, Sarge. Hold on. I'm sensing something. What is it, Casey? More EBEs? No, humans. 30 feet below us. There's terror. Complete panic. Could be survivors. Hiding out in an underground cave? Taylor, come with me. Sanderson, Tranganu, sweep the perimeter, then rendezvous with us at the main complex. Treasure. Initiating Road Gunner's mole configuration now. Let's dig in. they think of next a jungle with its own escape tunnel is anyone hurt everyone's okay sir scared to pieces but okay thanks has everyone been evacuated everyone except dr eaton's and a uh, dr faulkner the system shows dr eaton's used an emergency override code to get past the automatic lockdown in the labs i'm getting them out how do we get into the labs back through the tunnel that way but it's dangerous sir you trained on one of these you got less than two hours get everyone out of here now go. Yes, sir. Come on, Case. I got a bad feeling about this. Whoa. Interesting. These husks are still moist. That means whatever they spawned can't be far off. Stand back while I toast them. No, don't. Don't you get it? How are we supposed to learn about anything if all you want to do is blow it all away? Back off, surfer boy. No, you back off. If you can't get past what some aliens did to your first squad, then you shouldn't be on this. Uh-oh. I want to watch you stuff that thing in a test tube, dude. No, move. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, yes, I do. Come and get it. Moose. Moose. No. Ah! 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 Blow Genesis Jungle off the map? My work here is more important than you or any human being. Adam! On your feet or on your back, Doc. One way or the other, you're coming with us. No one can stop me. My work will change the world. Ben, we have a new problem. No, get it away from me. It's aloe vera. It's good for burns. <laughs> ah! Hey, that helps. <laughs> Thanks. I think we got a break. You're gonna hurt, but any closer to that thing and you'd be in really rough shape. Sarge? Sergeant Sanderson. Moose, I've got a bad feeling about this. They're gonna take out the building with us in it. Incoming! Look out! No! Keep your heads 
down. I know what they want. It's the brood. They're after the brood. We must protect them at all costs. The brood? The original plants the alien source left us. Their spores have produced everything in the Genesis jungle. Without them, I'd have nothing. Marcus, we have a situation in here. I'm on my way. Track my comm signal. Pan down 100 meters and lay in a wide swath of short burst pulse fire. Locking in on your coordinates now, Sarge. Hope they get a charge out of this. Good work, Marcus. We just got signal, Sarge. Everyone's safely out of there. Uh, except for you. Sarge, we've got less than 33 minutes. Odds are those plants have overrun the evac tunnel by now. We'll need ground transportation. I saw a truck in the garage. I'm not going anywhere. Not without them. Your decision, Doctor. We've barely got 15 minutes to get out of here, Sarge. Sanderson, turn gun and get on. Moose, what happened? Sanderson and I had a tactical disagreement. My way lost. There, that's where we came in. But it looks like we don't get out of here without a fight. And believe me, they know how to fight dirty. Yeah, but we know how to fight smart. Casey, you drive. Give that back! Give it back to me! Hey, what are you doing? Everyone, look! That's it, Casey. Slow and steady. Slow, sir. The strike force is due in 15 minutes. You tricked me! You allowed me to bring the brood so you could use them as pawns! You assumed that if you threatened the brood, the others wouldn't attack us. Whatever it takes to get my team out of here. You misjudged them, Sergeant. Their reaction to your threat only proves these are highly intelligent life forms. You know, Doctor, you may be right. Marcus, recall the strike force. Tell them to cancel the incendiary strike. Sarge, they don't have a recall code. We can't call them off. You have to get out of there now. What if the point of this rampage is to force a major combat strike? That's preposterous! Why would an alien species want us to blow them up? The blast is sending live spores into the air. Millions of them. If a full-scale bomb run destroys the park and all the alien plants... We'll be spreading new spores into the atmosphere by the billions. All over the Earth. An invasion. It, it was a trick. The aliens deceived me from the start. Oh, what have I done? Move it, team. The strike force is closing in. Ah! <laughs> Elemental mark for steel! Don't shoot it. It's toxic. Adam! Oh! 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 Hold on, Amanda. Ah! Moose, over here! One minute! Move! Move! me through to the strike force. Sarge, they can't respond to a change in the recall code. No, but they can respond to a change in payload. Ten seconds till impact. Bingo. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Instead of explosives, they're dropping super-cold liquid nitrogen. 
enough to freeze dry the alien plants and their invasion plans. Marcus, take the helm. Dr. Edens and I were once a team, you know. We were going to save the world. You know, Amanda, I think you just did. Just look at it, Amanda. It's a dream. Our dream come true. Come true. Come true.